For the next three days, we explored every corner of Lake Paradise, looking for remnants of Osa and Martin Johnson's camp. Finally, we found what we'd been looking for. So here we are at uh, Lake Paradise, at what we think is the, the siding for where Martin and Osa Johnson probably set up their camps. Uh, the views seem to be the same from the, the photos we've seen, and it just seems the most likely and appropriate spot uh, where they would have set up camp. So Calvin and some of the boys are out in the field seeing if they can find any, any markers of the f leftovers of the foundation or the gardens, and uh, yeah, I think this is it. So what are we looking at here, Calvin? Well, I think that this is a perfect raised position above the main axis for the elephants into Lake Paradise. There's a, there's a right angle bend in the, in the rocks here, you can just see. In nature, nothing is right. Here you go. And they would, I think they would have cut this out to make a flat place to build something, a small, a small shack or house for George Eastman. And uh, it's just too flat, it's too natural. In my opinion, it's not, it's not natural. And where would the elephant path be? Right down here. You can actually see an elephant path right now, going through the right underneath us here, into Lake Paradise, which is just there. What do we have here? Well, I think it's been carved. It's very shaped. Yeah, it's almost stepped. Mm -hmm. Whether it's for runoff or whether it's for access. Yes. Well, they they had an, an elaborate water feeding system to bring water up because of his film laboratories where they purified they ran it through charcoal they did like a, a three processes to filter the water and it was extremely elaborate these trees here brown olive are they grow up to 400 years 500 years old so most likely they were here as adults, even when Martin and Nelson Johnson were here. 